local, local, and they really grow their own in so many different fields. In fact, Gibby is learning all, of the, all about aquaponics this morning. Gibby, good morning. How you doing? Good morning, guys. Yeah, I'm here at the Merchant's Garden, and, and I have to tell you, when you take a look at this room that I'm in here, this big, huge greenhouse, about 10,000 square feet, but when you hear... If, if, if this was in field size, what it's like, Chaz is joining me here. As Scott mentioned, aquaponics, not hydroponics. Uh, yeah. Chaz, uh, let's do that first. This is 10,000 square feet. What does that mean field-wise? Well, we're able to produce about 10 times the volume per square foot than traditional farming here in the greenhouse. And this is all done in a recirculating system, so we use about 90% less water. I mean, the sustainability, like a lot of times when people, it's grown in ground, aquaponics, because this is floating. It's floating on water, and you said a 30-day turn time in this, and uh, what, this doesn't get picked until it's ready to go to market or ready for someone to eat it. Absolutely. That's, that's the commitment that we make to all of our customers, that it's absolutely the freshest product possible. So we harvest it within 12 hours of distribution, so it hits our, their shelves and it's fresh, and we ensure that the consumers have the freshest product out there. Yeah, uh, Victor was showing the fish here, and, and what's the deal with the fish and, and, and how that works in this whole uh, sustainability here? Yeah, absolutely. So the fish is where all the magic comes from. That allows us to be USDA organic certified, so we use the waste from the fish as the feed or the input to our produce. So we take them, uh, we feed them, Oh, Their effluent yeah. is in the water, and that goes, we actually pump that out to our produce over there, and then it's all in a recirculating system. Well, talk about recirculating system. How about the education part? We have some kids out here. You are not only in markets here locally, but you're also at the U of A, bashes is where they could find your food. But I think more importantly, the education part, and talk about sustainability when you continue to grow, is educating the kids on how important and doing this over and over again. Absolutely. I mean, this is the future of our food right here. Like... These, our, our hope is that if we get them to engage in the cultivation and production of food, that they go home and get excited to mom and say, hey, this is the food that I want, right? They take ownership in the food that they're actually producing. And the best part of this, guys, is when you take a look at this room, you see this fresh uh, food that you have here, the sustainability when you hear those, uh, you know, whether it's the uh, global warming or anything that we're dealing with here, when you get to do it yourself, learn how to do it, and not to mention, April, just be uh, organic in it as well. You know how everyone has been switching to that, is having fresh food. I don't think you can beat that.